Buongiorno from Capri. So I've been thinking about this pure delight. Um, and it's really a muscle. It's a muscle that you have to exercise in a choice that you make. Um, and when do we lose that? When do we lose it? I was just listening to this little girl being so excited on her walk with her dad here. And I thought, when do we lose our enthusiasm? I think it's kind of a decision when you get beaten down by trauma and jadedness starts creeping in. But, you know, it really is a practice to reset. And I've noticed now after being three weeks here that I needed this time at a very deep level. And thank God I worked hard for it. People say you're so lucky, but luck really didn't have much to do with it. <laughs> it was working, saving money, and planning. Um, and now I see that's true about everything. Because if something doesn't, if you're not happy in some environment, and you've tried to change it, and you've tried to talk about it, and, and it doesn't change, then it's really your choice about being in something that's going to make you... Uh, like, you don't want to just tolerate life. Because um, when people start saying, oh, you have to sacrifice, well, maybe you do a little bit, but if you have this goal of getting to a certain place, like I had a goal to go to Europe, and, and I worked for it. So there were some things I didn't do to put aside money and, um, and make it happen. So... You know, I think what happens a lot is when you lose your delight, you lose your dreams. And, you know, just because you're getting older doesn't mean that you have to let those go. It's like, you know, I could listen to people say, oh, you can't learn a new language. Like, I just talked to a group of girls from Belgium down there, and they learned English and French in school. Now, you could tell yourself, oh, I'm too old to learn a new language. Bullshit. It's, you're not. You can, sure, I'm trying to learn this language and I forget stuff every day and stumble along and crucify the language, but not really do you uh, not learn things. Not really. You have to want to learn it. And it's a beautiful language. So if you're into it, you know what I realized too, being in different countries, I didn't love the language, so it made it harder to learn it, even if it was supposedly easy. But that's a decision you make. So if you're not delighted by things in your life, get out, change, take the chance, don't come up with excuses. Maybe you're going to have to put it off for a little bit, but you could work towards it. You could take baby steps to your pure delight. Um, because along the way, you're going to encounter people that tell you, oh, that's life, you just have to struggle. Well, that's true, but... Yes, there is struggle and challenge, but if the goal on the other side of it is to keep your delight in your life, then that's worth everything. I mean, just look at a child being delighted. They're not going to stop exclaiming over something beautiful because someone else says they shouldn't. So why should we? So with that in mind, I wanted to share that with you from the beautiful, enchanting island of Capri. Sun came out and made it a gorgeous day. So thank you. Hey, thank you for the subscribes and the shares and the comments. I love it when you comment because I'm on here the most and I can answer your questions. And uh, hey, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for coming over. Ciao. Grazie.